Hey YouTube, this is Crave Collector 01 back today for another video review. Today I'll be reviewing the Neo Beat Machine uh, base or Beetle Battle base. It has a couple different names. This is specifically the base for um, B Fighter Kabuto or Beetleborg's Metallics for the BVs. This was a Japanese only piece. It was only released in Japan. It was released um, as a set, like you see here, with, with the vehicles, but they also released the vehicle separately. And if you watched my original Beetle Battle Base review, um, these are a special size. They're not the deluxe size. They're the smaller vehicles like come with the other base. So we'll get into the review. We'll start with the vehicles. Here we have um, the tank. Pretty nice, it sports some articulation. Um, they're all just basic uh, vehicles with caster wheels. We'll take a look at it compared to the Deluxe. You can see it retains all the detail. It's just mostly chrome and missing the features. So we'll move on to Gold's vehicle. Uh, it does sport the moving horn on the front um, doesn't have any of the features like the other ones. Here it is next to the Deluxe. But you can tell that all the detail is there. Next we'll move on to Platinum's. Um, Platinum kind of has the least amount of anything going on. Um, except for the ro rotating turbines. Other than that, it's fairly boring. We'll compare it to the Deluxe. You can see, get an idea of how much smaller they are. And we'll move on to the base itself. And the base um, has the different docking houses for the mechs. So these just pull down. So you have B and C for uh, the different vehicles. And to get to A, this entire top section opens up. That part goes sideways and you pull, put that down like that. And then this one opens backwards. And that's the base completely opened up. Now the play feature with this base is you put in, you put in your vehicles. They have specific slots to hold them, um, which we'll look at in a minute. And there's a couple uh, pegs here on Platinum that peg on to this section right here in the base. And then the play feature is you have these levers on the side that raise the platforms up. And there's magnets on the top of these that connect it to the purple. Then you can just take the whole thing off and take off. Kind of like how they do in the show. Um, but that's the main play feature. We'll disconnect these guys. And they, you can store these in the base. Um, they, they do store very nicely, just tucked away inside the base. Just like so. It doesn't feature the the automatic rolling them out of the gate like the original Beetle Battle Base. That's literally all the play features it has. We'll spin it around so you guys can get a look at it. Full 360. So, yeah, but now if you're looking to pick this set up, a few things to be aware of. There are um, a few miss, a few um, pieces that can go missing if you're if you're not careful. Each leg of this, um, these chrome bits and the the legs, so four each, are separate pieces. These levers on the side that connect to the plate on the inside, they're separate pieces. They can be missing quite a bit. And sometimes the entire tray, the entire um, lift on the inside can be missing. 
This chrome piece on top is a separate piece. Um, this entire antenna assembly is a separate piece. And another thing to watch out for, specifically with the vehicles, is each rim on gold is a separate piece and the horn can become detached. So if you're looking to get this second hand, be sure that you have all the pieces. There, um, that's quite a few pieces that can be missing. Um, and make sure you have the vehicles because like I said, this was released. The vehicles were released independently as a set and the base was released with the vehicles, but I'm not sure if it was released as just the base itself. So, but all in all, I think it's a pretty cool piece. Uh, another thing to be weary of what makes it so hard to get these are these shells are usually almost always yellow just because of how they released it with the window box. Sunlight gets in there and turns this yellow. So, you know, your, your mileage may vary on something like that. But all in all, I think it's a pretty cool set and a worthy addition to your Beetleborgs collection or Bee Fighter collection. I think it's a pretty cool set. We'll pull in the original. I'll, uh, get this all closed up we'll do a little bit of a jump cut and i'll show you the two bases together side by side all right guys we're back and now you can see how the different beetle battle bases um compare to one another here we have the original beetle battle base and then we have the neo beetle battle base um about the same height wise counting the antenna um this one's a little bit wider it's more out instead of squat but all in all, a really cool piece. If you can track one down at a good price, I'd recommend picking it up. Um, I think the, the biggest part is finding one that isn't completely yellow. Um, but you can find these fairly cheap on the secondary market. They're, they're not super expensive. I think I gave about 40 plus shipping for that one. As you can see, it's pretty well complete. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Um, this is an item that I don't see very often, if at all, because I think a lot of people don't even know that it exists. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to, you know, like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel out a lot. We're doing really good on TikTok. Um, so, check out our TikTok. And, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. This is Crave Collector 01, signing out.